Sigmund? Um, uh, first of all, uh, what a game, what an atmosphere. Um, I thought it was um, a showcase of some really high level uh, soccer. Um, the women I thought played a fantastic game, highly contested. The energy of the fans was unbelievable. Um, and as both teams prepare for postseason, it's the kind of game that's going to get us ready. So um, as much as I'm, I'm disappointed with the loss, uh, I'm very excited about what it's done for women's soccer here in the city, being able to play in this kind of venue, and, and what it's going to do for both teams as we prepare uh, to, to represent the Pac-12 and, and NCAAs. Do you have any questions? Uh, this is your last tune-up for the, uh, the postseason. Obviously, you said it didn't necessarily turn out the way you wanted, but what can you take from this game? as kind of one last, uh, you know, some last learning um, before you head into the, the postseason? Well, I mean, I mean, I thought this game provided the intensity necessary to play in postseason. I mean, um, teams around the country are playing in, in tournaments and, and we don't have one. So to play a final game with this kind of intensity and energy and, and uh, physicality, all, all of it I thought you found in this game that, that uh, will definitely get us ready. Coach and then uh, both Mandy and Sam Joe, could you guys all give your thoughts on the atmosphere tonight and being able to play in an arena like this? I'll let you guys start. Um, I thought it was great. Uh, you could tell that the energy was really high. Everybody was really excited. You hear the oohs and ahs every time something exciting happened. Um, I thought that it created a really exciting game. Everybody played really hard, um, went into tackles, did things that made the environment better. Um, to play in uh, it was definitely quite the experience, and I hope it's something that continues to grow in women's soccer. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really get much better than that, playing in like a huge stadium with all the fans and hearing them cheer. And it was a high intensity game. Both teams have, were of great caliber, and you know, it's a one in a lifetime experience. Did you see, like, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I, I was just going to echo their thoughts. I, I thought, I thought it was, it was wonderful to hear so many young people, so many young, young little girls out there uh, just cheering, enjoying the game, and, and being able to see the, the high quality of the players on the field, on display. Um, I'm hopeful that it will continue to grow their desire to play at this level and beyond. Uh, did UCLA bring anything kind of surprising, whether on their offensive scheme or defensive scheme you guys today? Um, I didn't think it was anything surprising. We went over it in scout. Um, I think at first we just played them too soft and it really set the tone for them in the beginning, which allowed them to get that goal. Um, Annie hit a great shot. I mean, she's going 100 miles an hour hitting the volley. Uh, top corner bending down, that's pretty impressive, but it shouldn't have even got to that. Um, and the second half when we brought more pressure, I thought we had much better <coughs> opportunities than they did in the second half, but just didn't turn away. Yeah, I thought it took us a little bit um, to get into the rhythm of the game, but once we found it, we had a lot of chances on net, and unfortunately some of those didn't go in, but I thought we uh, competed tonight, which is always great to come out to see both teams, you know, wanting to win and working hard, and we just didn't get the result today. Uh, when you talk about shouldn't have gone to that, what do you think, kind of looking and prepping for postseason play, can you kind of work on that so that that doesn't happen in come postseason? Um, I think we need to come out harder in the first half. Uh, the last couple games, our first halves have been subpar, uh, just from what I've seen and what the defense has seen. Um, we've been under a lot of pressure within the first 15, 20 minutes, which should not be happening. Um, and I mean, goals aren't going to go your way and things are going to happen, but we can control our tempo and we can control what we bring to the field. And I just think we need to start faster if um, we want to be able to knock some top teams off. I agree. I mean, I, I think not only defensively, but offensively, we didn't hold on to the ball well enough, uh, which put us in, in some poor situations in terms of our defending. Um, right at the end of the half, I thought you saw it shift as we, as we got better pressure and we stepped up the field and, and uh, took away some of the space that they had early. Um, and as that happened, we, we started to get, get into a rhythm ourselves. I thought we carried it into the second half with the exception of a, of a handful of moments. Um, and we're a bit unfortunate. Um, We've played from the front a lot this year and haven't played from behind, so the fight that we have is, was, was great. Um, but we've got, to, we've got to make some better decisions in the final third when under that kind of pressure to get a result, and that's, that's what caught us today. Do you think that the, uh, the environment and maybe the pressure that comes with such a big game is going to help now that you're moving into the postseason where every game is kind of going to feel like that in terms of the atmosphere and the, uh, the pressure since this is such a big rivalry game? Like, how do you think that it, 
that playing in a game like this is going to help uh, in terms of you know the team's ability to to kind of push away the pressure going forward. I think it will absolutely help. Um, I, I thought by just being in this kind of atmosphere with the energy in itself and, and it, it, it sort of drives you forward um, early on. We did some things that we haven't done, you know, and so um, just having gone through that experience itself, moving into next weekend, it's going to be a little bit easier to go into the game and step on the field and, and, and play a little bit more free with the understanding of what it feels like to have uh, that kind of weight on a game. So it was, I thought it was perfect um, in terms of our preparation. As seniors, uh, you guys are obviously the leaders on this team um, and key, you know, key players on this team. How do you guys help th uh, this team now regroup um, and kind of start a, I guess, a fresh mindset because it's a whole new season now starting? Yeah, I think it's all about um, the way that we approach this coming week and starting it brand new. It's the next six games until the NCAA finals, and where it's just about competing and starting brand new and uh, playing every game like it's our last. <coughs> you know potentially could be. Yeah, I think we just have to decide that we don't want to lose. I think it's pretty much as simple as that. And I think that if everybody gets on the same page, I think this team is good enough to win a national championship. And we have to be on the same page and we have to want to win every single game. And not that people don't want to win, just we need to play uh, as hard as we possibly can every single game and not take any breaks. Uh, Coach, do you have any kind of key factors or things you want to work on heading into postseason, or is that something that will come to you in a couple of days? No, I, I think uh, I, I thought we were well prepared for the game. I, I just think we were a little out of sync in the beginning, and, it, and it, then you're, you're fighting an uphill battle trying to get back in it, and, and um, we, we got back in it. We were, we were right there. So um, it's really just kind of fine-tuning, um, getting our legs back under us, getting us ready for that first-round game, and you know, waiting for Monday to see what happens and, and making sure that we're focused on that first game um, because that's, that's the only game at this point, you know, so... Um, I, I will be glued to a lot of TVs, watching opponents, and you know, doing as much scout work ahead of the the, the draw, and then we'll go to work. Last question on my end. I don't know if I'll get to talk to you guys again. Um, I want to say it's been a privilege watching you guys play. And I was wondering if you could just speak to what it's meant for you two in particular to, uh, to be a part of the Trojan family and play for this program. Yeah, well, um, it was a different experience for me. We came in with a different coach and having to go through the coaching change and from where the program was beforehand to what it is now, it's completely different. And I'm so excited for the future of, you know, the girls that are coming in and what this program can do in, you know, the future and continue to make it into the tournaments, continue to be top in the Pac-12 and just, um, yeah, leaving our mark. <laughs> yeah, I uh, transferred in three years ago. And um, I came from a program that uh, wasn't the best environment and wasn't the most fun or even the um, best competitive type of environment. And uh, everything that Kidani and Jen and Jay are doing here um, is creating what's going to be a dynasty. And it could start this year, but it's going to be something that people are going to be a force to reckon with. And I've had the best experience that I could ask for soccer-wise um, here at USC. and. I don't think I change anything. Just one question. So for you guys now, considering this is probably going to be your last ever meeting with UCLA, what has this rivalry, rivalry meant to you guys over the years here? Um, it's, you know, it's the same old USC UCLA rivalry. Um, we always want to beat them. They always want to beat us. So um, when you have two teams that are as talented as we both are and meeting together and having that competitiveness, um, I think it's always going to be a great game, and you know we want to win every time <laughs> the Crosstown Albury. But you know sometimes we're unfortunate, like tonight. But yeah, I mean it's USC UCLA. I've grown up in Southern California my entire life. Um, everybody knows the rivalry. Uh, it's exciting. It's fun uh, when we're on the field. It's bitter and tough. But when we get off the field, we know a ton of people on that team and. We uh, give them a good job, and we respect everything that they do, and I think they respect us. And um, it's quite the rivalry, so I hope it continues on and we get some wins. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys.